Welcome back. Accessories can make or break an outfit, and you know, the same goes for home decor. So don't let old accents stop your space from being on trend. Jennifer McDougal from Legacy Home Staging and Furniture Painting is here with some DIY ideas that will not break the bank. Jennifer, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for coming by. I mean, this is stuff that I think a lot of people probably have around their house. Old candlesticks, right. books, maybe, you know, broken pieces of furniture. Yes. You say, don't toss them out. No, you um, can actually take a a lot of things that you don't see um, in a different light instead of getting rid of them and you can change it up just a little bit and make it into something brand new. And at Legacy Home and Furniture Painting, this is what people pay you to do. Yes, um, or you know, if I go into their home and you know they want me to um, do a shopping list for them on what to buy, I'll go through their home first, see what they already have, and we'll work with that first so we can stay on a budget and then oh, just buy cool. the pieces that we need. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so people hire you to do this, but today you're giving away all your secrets because yeah. you're going to show us how to dress up some older items. So yes. uh, we're going to paint this uh, candlestick, right? Right. Tell us how it's done because it's a very specific technique. It's actually pretty easy. Um, you, and you don't have to use just white. Um, I'm using white today, but you can use any color that you want. Okay, and we're seeing, by the way, on the screen what we're making. And yes. this is how items can get new life breathing. Right, this today. is a piece that a lot of people have candle pillars that they can, you know, change up with just a little bit of paint so it's a nice common one the um you'll just put a little bit of paint on the brush okay and this is called a whitewash technique right right and is, what kind of paint is this a latex paint it's just a water-based paint water -based, with a flat finish what kind of finish are we looking um, for you actually would put the if in this case you wouldn't have to put a top coat on it but if you wanted to you would put your finish would be on the top coat with this type of paint because it's like a chalk type paint. a chalky type paint mm -hmm. okay right. great right. So, so you're just going to brush it onto the piece just, and just lightly. Just lightly. Mm -hmm. So you don't want me getting down into no, the grooves. No, you don't want to go into the grooves. It leaves that dimension because you're going to see that dark underneath. So it's not solid. It looks like a distressed look. That is and looking cool. And you can cool. have it done in, in just seconds, really. Well, and you know, for people who say that they are not artistic, first of all, I don't believe it because <laughs> everyone is artistic to some degree. But what's nice about this technique is it doesn't have to be perfect or precise, right? absolutely right? not. Yeah, it's not perfect at all. Children can do this. I mean, it's a very, very easy project, and it's done very, very quick. And what if someone wanted to do, a, like, a different color, like a turquoise mm, or absolutely. a Absolutely, yeah. You yeah? can do any color you want. Wow. How am I doing? You're doing great. You're almost done. Okay, awesome. So, <laughs> this, I totally get the idea, and this piece suddenly has a completely new vibe. Right, it dries, it's done, and it's totally different looking. can go back in, in the same room that it was in, or you can use it in a different room in a different way. You can give it as a gift. Yes. You could. Okay, let's talk about some of the items. I'm going to step out of the way so people can see these doors here behind us. This is an example of what you've done to mix some new items right, with, with old. Right, with some old. So these were some old um, cabinet doors that were found, like, in a garage, and they, you know, were something that someone was considering to be just trash, but they weren't. You know, they had a great, chippy, rustic look. Yeah, and, and multiple coats of paint, too. Yeah, and to find two that were the same um, is, is a pretty hard thing when they're old like that, but a lot of times these things are laying around in people's attic, backyard, garages, um, so you can work with things that you have. You just have to kind of look around and That's be so open minded about it. Well, and these letters, you can get these from a, mm -hmm. a craft so store, right? So, I actually had a vendor make this. She's got the machine to do the wood cutout, so she did the cutout, and we put it up there, and you put it all together, hang it on the wall, and it's a big piece of wall decor. It's a, gr a great piece of wall decor for a dining room mm -hmm. or just an Absolutely. empty wall at home you may not know what to do with. Yes. Here also is another piece. Uh, this is, I've never seen anything like this. You've taken a clock yes. and put it inside an so, old picture frame. you know, these frames I, I tend to have all over the house sometimes. Um, it's just your old typical ornate frame um, and then this was a clock from a different room so both pieces that you can just the clock was already this color just throw a coat of paint just like you just did on the frame yeah um, and then hang it on there for any piece of wall decor so totally I think it looks like a nice high-end piece that you would have purchased somewhere but it's actually pretty unique and yeah it's beautiful a clock inside a picture frame all right let's come out here uh, back to the island and let's talk about these books you have just a regular stack of books here and yes. then a pretty dressy books one here. Books are one of my favorite things to do. Um, almost everybody has some hardback books in their homes yeah. that they're not using or mm -hmm. they've already read. Um, I take all the covers off and then you can also paint them any color that you want. These are great for coffee table accents or on a mantle or shelf or something like what that. What a cool idea. So you can paint them, bind them together with some twine or 
whatever material you have laying around usually. And the process for painting, is it mm -hmm. similar to what we did here with the candlestick? Mm -hmm. You can go a little more solid on this if you want to, just so you're not showing the underneath of whatever color that book was. Um, whereas that, you know, the brown looks good under it. But you can go a little heavier on it and just stack them together and tie it up. Make it look distressed. You know yeah. what would be cool is you could, like, you could do a whole wall of books all the same color, like all yeah. white or all blue. That would really make a statement. That would be cool. All right, let's move on to some of your greenery here. Yes. And this, what is this, an just old watering an old can? old metal watering can. Where did you right. find this? So this, um, actually, my grandmother had it. You're kidding. So, yeah. No, so you can take, you know, pieces that you don't necessarily think that you want handed down to you or heirlooms, and you can find another use for them so that they are um, pieces that you can use in your home, even if maybe not in the same way. Yeah, I mean, someone may think that an item like this, which would typically live in the garage, mm -hmm. someone right. may not assume that they could yeah. use it in a and formal rest, space. Rest is cool. Rest is in. So. That is super. And look at that. Well, yeah. there you go. Look what I did with the greenery. You did great. See, you, and it was easy. <laughs> you made Super it easy, easy for me. <laughs> okay, now, this is very intriguing here. <laughs> this is a part of an old uh, piece of dresser. broken furniture. So it's a really, it was, came from a really old dresser. Um, it had one on either side, and then your mirror mounted in between. Um, but this was just a broken random piece that was found. I have no idea where the dresser was. So we just painted it and rolled up some old, Vintage the scrolls. pieces of paper, yeah. Jennifer, it's and beautiful. Put it on the counter. We got to leave it right there, but we want to remind our viewers that mm -hmm. uh, we will share these DIY projects on our website. We'll also have a link to Jennifer's blog as well. Great to see you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, and thanks for all this beautiful, beautiful decor. Coming up on tomorrow's show, by the way, looking for love, we're going to share the top five dating apps to take you from single to in a relationship, plus how to boost your online profile to attract the right partner. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. Don't leave your fur coats in the closet. Neglected furs can dry out and crack, or worse, get attacked by moths and other insects. Sackowitz Furs Cold Storage will preserve the beauty of your fur and keep it out of harm's way. Bring your furs in today or call to have them picked up from your home. Title Max makes it easy to turn your title into cash. Just go to TitleMax.com. Find out how much you can get. Using TitleMax.com, I got $1,400. $3,200. TitleMax.com got me $9,700. Best of all, most credit types are approved. Next time you need cash, try Title Max for rate. Try Title Max for the amount you need. Find out why so many people are saying, I got my title back with Title Max. Get your title back with Title Max. Our kids, they can make us crazy. Helpandhope.org can help with parenting advice. Helpandhope.org, help for parents, hope for kids. Imagine somebody beating you in the head with a hammer. I tried um, going to the chiropractor, getting massages, acupuncture. We did Botox, therapies. Numerous medications. Nothing seemed to work. The migraines just kept coming back. And so I just did my own research and came across migraine treatment centers on the internet. We called them and they wanted me to come down and try the Omega procedure. Migraine Treatment Centers of America is the exclusive provider of the Omega procedure, a long-term drug-free solution for chronic migraines with an 87% success rate. After I turn it on, it's complete relief. And I called my mom, I was like, it's working, it's working. It completely changed my life. I could be on the field coaching my daughter instead of sitting home in agony in a dark room. Call us today at 888-261-3548 to see if you're a candidate. That's 888-261-3548 or visit us at omegaprocedure.com. Before we go today, we have some very sad news to share. Monday night, we lost a very special member of our KPRC Channel 2 family, Debbie Bronson Pelton. Debbie is a wife, mother, a friend, and an absolute professional. She always had a smile on her face, always had a great attitude, and was polished, put together, such a classy woman. She worked hard on Houston Life, and many of you watching right now might even know her. Our hearts go out to her husband, TJ, and her 15-year-old daughter, Lauren. Debbie, we love you, and you will be missed every single day. Your nails can say a lot about your health. Chipping, depressions, peeling, what it all means and what you can do about it. And I've got some seriously clever and creative ways to organize your jewelry and accessories in our Summer Closet Reboot, Thursday morning on Channel 2 News Today. 
Cool off at Wet n Wild Splash Town, Houston's largest water park. Bigger with the new Alien Chaser water ride. Better with Houston's biggest and most thrilling water rides. And wetter with millions of gallons of water adventures. Get unlimited visits for the rest of the summer for the price of a general admission ticket with a thrill pass. Or save up to $12 on general admission with a coupon from McDonald's. Wet n Wild Splash Town. Bigger, better, wetter. Unforgettable moments are the foundation of your life. They will stay forever in your mind. Don't hesitate about experiencing those moments because they represent happiness. Your happiness. And happiness is in Acapulco. I was driving, someone smashed into me, and then they just drove off. I knew I needed a lawyer, somebody to help me out. After calling Jim Aller, he got my medical bills paid for. My car was fixed immediately. The time that I took off of work was reimbursed to me. I wasn't expecting to get as much as I did. My life is better because I called Jim Aller. I'm Jim Aller, the Texas Hammer. I know how to get you all the money the law says is yours. Call today, 713-777-4000. She's rebelling against her religious mom. Is that why she's a sugar baby? I do go on dates for money. There's something wrong with you. The way you raised me, you made me like this. Next, Dr. Bill. Today at 3 on Channel 2. Download the Hurricane and Flood Survival Guide at click2houston.com. Hey. Hey, more visitors? I see my <laughs> hey, hey. You saw Trip Head now. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I had to insist that he go to work since we don't know when or if I'm going under the knife. Okay, what's latest from the uh, folks in charge? Well, is this Roman? Hey, Roman. Hey, <laughs> how you doing, Stu? Yeah, that uh, engineer ran a whole battery of tests yesterday, and he's meeting with the surgeon today to see if I'm a viable candidate for the bionic eye. Oh. Kayla's in her office waiting for word. Kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> No. No, it makes perfect sense. Look, we all know this technology is experimental. And, and if you don't get the surgery today, then you'll get it when the technology is even more advanced. That's right. And just know, partner, that if this company that's developing the prototype needs more financing for research, I'm all over it, buddy. I really appreciate that. Yeah, man. But I gotta tell you, since Stefan Demera cut ties with Visionary Bionics, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. I sure am glad that guy's out of the picture. After what Stefan did to Abigail, I know my brother wouldn't want to owe him a thing. You got that right, baby sister. And Caleb feels exactly the same way. Come in. Oh, you got a minute? Yeah, of course I do. Come in. What's, uh, what's going on? I, uh, I, I, I did something to, to help out a friend, and, uh, it messed my life up. So I, I, I came to ask for a favor. It's pretty huge. Victor. Hi. Did you come here to see Tate because you just fell asleep? Oh, I do miss my great grandson, but that's not why I'm here. Oh. Then do what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, this is business. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to talk about Bella? Because I have so many ideas. So do I. You're fired. <laughs> Teresa got sole custody of Tate. Yep. Makes me sad. 
It's always best for a child to be raised by both parents. I agree. It should not be this way. But if you planted drugs in my son's apartment, maybe this is exactly how it should be. in a few minutes. Yeah, well, I hate missing our yoga day, but I'm not in the mood for now. Oh, dog. Oh, yeah, I heard that Brady lost custody of Tate. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I know. I know that you were hoping that my testimony about Teresa ditching me in Mexico would help prove that she's an unfit mother, but you heard her lawyer. He just twisted everything that I said. Yeah, I know. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. You know, the whole custody case took a really bad turn. So you're not to blame. If anybody is to blame for Brady losing custody of Tate, it's, uh, it's me. trying to do everything to hold on to your son, to plant drugs in JJ's apartment, no, 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 to smear no, no, through Jen, his... listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't have anything to do with the drugs. Nothing. JJ thinks you did, and so do I. He's mistaken. No, this You're has mistaken. been a terrible year for him. He finally has his life back together, and you do this, Brady? Jen, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. How can Brady losing custody of Tate possibly be your fault? You've been his rock through all of this. Brady is a wonderful man and a devoted father. Maybe I should have had a little bit more faith that my sister would actually realize that. Mm, I don't understand. Brady went over to Teresa's and offered to share custody of Tate and she agreed. Well, that's great. Why didn't it happen? Because everything blew up when Child Services went over to JJ's apartment. Where Teresa's been staying. They did their inspection, which they always do, and they found drugs. Wait, so Teresa's using again? Then why on earth would the judge grant her custody? She's not using, and neither is JJ. But JJ wanted to protect Teresa, so he stood up in court and said that the drugs were his. Oh, man. Yeah. The judge took a recess, and then it became this big he said, she said. Teresa lit into Brady and accused him of planting the drugs to make her look like a bad parent. And of course, Brady said that the drugs weren't his, that they had to be JJ's. And... God. In the end, Teresa got sole custody of Tate. Okay, but I, I still don't understand how is any of that your fault? I didn't know that Brady was gonna offer, you know, joint custody with, with Teresa before the drugs were planted. So they were planted, Teresa was right? Yes, and no, I... Brady didn't plant the drugs at JJ's apartment. But you did. You can't do this, Victor. You gave me control of Bella. Well, that's when I thought there was a chance you could rule my grandson away from that gold-digging sister of yours. There is nothing that I want more than to be a family with Brady and Tate, but I tried everything. Brady rejected me. So out of spite, you sue him for sole custody? I fought to hold on to my son, and now that I have Tate full time, I intend to keep him. Well, I doubt that. But you uh, have two nickels that rub together. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get mad. 
JCPenney for the mystery sale. Get your mystery coupon in store only for an extra 30%, 40%, or 50% off select regular or already reduced prices. Thursday through Sunday, in store only. Get there before it's gone. JCPenney, style and value for all. I struggled with depression. I thought I needed cigarettes to cope. I was able to quit smoking, and then I started running. Now I feel a lot better. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. From executive producer Amy Poehler. Oh my God. I feel bad. Thursdays this fall. You lost your job? I, I'm not sure yet. It's an EMT company I, I work for. Found out that drugs were discovered in my apartment and they suspended me. I heard something about Child Protective Services and a bag of cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, they came by to inspect my place because Teresa's been living with me. They found the drugs in the kitchen cabinet. Did you? I, I know that it, it, it sounds bad, but uh, I was hoping that maybe you could talk to my boss and, and tell him that I am not using. I mean, given your position in this hospital, it could go a very, very long way. You know, JJ, I would always love to help you. Really. But the problem here is, as I understand it, you told the judge but the drugs were yours. That was a lie. The only reason why I said that is because I was afraid if the judge thought the drugs were Teresa's, she would lose Tate. So you're not using drugs. But you lied at a custody hearing. JJ, you, you basically traded one black mark for another. I made an impulsive move. And now you regret it. I don't regret helping Teresa. I, uh, I regret not thinking about the consequences. Jen, I was in the hearing room when your son stood up and said that the drugs were his. I talked to him about that, and he swears that he's clean. He said he lied to protect Teresa. You, you believe him? Brady, I do. Jen, come on. Come on, you know. No, you, I know, I know what know you're going to well say. I know. I know, addicts lie. I know that. I've been there. So have you. Yeah. It's a pretty awful place to be. Yes. And if I believed for one second that he was in trouble, 
If I even thought for one minute, I would have him right back in treatment, but I don't, and I'm still terrified, Brady. If he's not using him, then what are you worried about? Because he has been in a precarious place for so long. First with Theo, and then finding out that Lonnie's baby isn't his, he was devastated all over again, Brady. So now he has this job, he has structure and, and stability, and he feels like he has a purpose. And if he loses that job, I'm so afraid that I'm gonna lose him too. So I am begging you, I am begging you, just admit that you Jen, planted Jen, Jen. those drugs, Brady, Jen? please. I know your son. And going out on a limb to protect Teresa is something that he would do. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I think you should do the same for me. Brady, Jennifer, please. Jennifer, look at me. I swear on my son's life. I did not plant those drugs in his apartment. I swear. If that is true, and JJ is clean. Then how did those drugs end up in his apartment in the first place? I didn't plant the drugs myself, okay? But we did set the plan in motion. So the entire time this whole drama was playing out in court, you knew the truth, but you didn't tell Brady. Yeah. And still doesn't know. No. Oh, Eve, oh, I have to say, I am, I'm really disappointed in you. God, I, you know, I'm disappointed in myself, all right? I hate these kind of manipulations because I know the pain that they can cause and because I've been on the receiving end of them. Can you, you remember how I felt when I found out that Brady would con me into falling for him? I mean, it broke my heart. I know, but he was conspiring with Victor. If you want anyone to hate you, that's the way to do it. You know, Brady and I, we, we, we found our way back. Even with all the lies and the schemes, we, we found true love. God, I couldn't just stand by and let Teresa take his son from him. I couldn't do it. Come on. You know, first stand how vicious Teresa's attorney and she, she, she was. I mean, they were trying to paint Brady as a murderer, like he killed Damos. God, I was scared that the judge was actually going to believe it, so I had to do something. I did. Just, I never meant for JJ to get involved with this, ever. Yeah, and JJ does seem like he cares about Teresa a lot. He's been practically glued by her side this yeah, whole time. I mean, who knew that he would want to protect her like that? Just, oh, man, I just... All I wanted to do was help Brady keep his son. Well, I know you just wanted to help, but there had to have been another way. The truth? Planning the drugs? What plan B? Okay, well, I'm afraid to ask, what was plan A? It's Nutrisystem's Red Hot Sale. Celebrate summer and save 40% off every program, including Turbo 13. Lose up to 13 pounds and 7 inches overall in your first month. Lose weight now. Money back guaranteed. I'm Marie, and I lost 50 pounds with Nutrisystem. I am so much healthier now. Nutrisystem delivers your favorite foods made healthier, perfectly portioned to fuel and satisfy. Count, measure, meetings, not with Nutrisystem. Order your 28-day program right now, and we'll rush you Turbo 13 with the new Turbo Takeoff Week with new foods, plus a week of probiotic and delicious Turbo Shakes free to shrink your belly and lose weight. You'll see results your very first week. For a limited time, save 40% off every program. Nutrisystem works. Do it. Do it now. Don't wait. Go online. Or call 855-431-EASY and get free shakes plus 40% off every program.
nothing beats the comforts of home. Introducing new Scott Comfort Plus. It's three times stronger for unbeatable comfort. It's how Scott Comfort Plus families keep life rolling. I have no idea what's in Princess Toast, but thanks to this USP sale, I know exactly what's in my Nature Made gummies. Nature Made has the first gummies verified by USP, a nonprofit organization that sets purity and potency standards. If your pet has fleas, you have fleas. Help protect your pet, home, and yard from infesting fleas with the Advantage Flea Action Plan. Paradontax, the toothpaste that helps prevent bleeding gums. If you spit blood when you brush or floss, you may have gum problems and could be on the journey to much worse. <laughs> Stop the journey of gum disease. Try Paradontax Toothpaste. It's clinically proven to remove plaque, the main cause of bleeding gums, for healthy gums and strong teeth. Leave bleeding gums behind with Paradontax Toothpaste. SVU's on a new night, Thursdays, 10, 9 central. Okay, that's enough about me. Hey, listen, I want to hear the latest on that bogus sexual harassment suit against Sonny. Well, last I heard, that Leo guy was a no-show in court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so weird. As much as I want this nightmare to be over, believe me, to make such a big deal and work so hard to frame my son and then just disappear. Maybe he developed a guilty conscience. It happens, you know? Yeah, or he got drafted. Paul and I were digging into his shady past, was afraid that Justin was just going to rip him up on the stand. Well, whatever the reason, he's gone. It's only good for Sonny, right? Well, yeah, I mean, Justin said if he doesn't reappear that the judge will have no choice but to throw out the case. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this hustler looks like, but if I get my sight back, he better hope I never lay eye on him. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I love you. I love you. <laughs> you know, JJ, before I could help you, I think you need to help yourself. I don't even know where to start. Well, I think that you could start by going to the judge and telling her the truth. And if you do that, then I have no problem going to bat for you with your employer. If I do that, the judge could reopen the case. Teresa could lose tape. You know, I think it's wonderful that you care so much. But sacrificing your job as an EMT which, by all accounts, you are really great at? To bail out Teresa? I, I don't know. I, I just think that you are on such a solid career path. With an incredibly bright future. Do you want to sacrifice all that? For one mistake? What's more important? My job or... Having a mother raise her son. Oh, you could decide that. Thank you for listening. I'm always here for you, JJ. Johnson. Oh, no, no, don't apologize. Listen, with all the intricate engineering involved with this, I, I didn't expect to hear from you for hours. So, um, did you have an opportunity to go over Steve's tests and consult with the surgeon? Right. Okay, good. So, you think that my husband is a candidate for the bionic eye? I have no idea how those drugs ended up in JJ's apartment. Well, they have to be Teresa's. It's it's the only plausible explanation. No. She swore to JJ that they weren't hers. She swore it to me, too. I actually believed her. 
because the way the way she screamed at me for framing her and I mean, she flipped out she was really mad okay but what what if that was all an act she lies like a pro but my gut tells me that she was being honest i just want the truth so my son can get his job back i wish i could give it to you all i can tell you is i did not plant those drugs in his apartment nor did I have someone do it for me. I know that I told JJ that, but that I didn't believe you would ever do that. I mean, honestly, that sounds like something Victor would do. So, you fire me. The judge finds out that I can't provide for Tate, and he gives him back to Brady. Is that your plan? No, not necessarily. You can stay on it, Bella. As long as you agree to joint custody. trust Brady anymore, okay? He's gonna find some way to make me look like an unfit parent. He wouldn't do that. I mean, he already did. I agreed to joint custody. And then the next thing I know, Brady plants cocaine in JJ's apartment to frame me. God's sake, woman, he had nothing to do with those drugs. How can you be so sure? Wait, so let me get this straight. Brady's on the verge of losing custody of Tate because the judge thinks that he might be a killer and you have proof that he's not, but he won't let you use it? Because Brady is a, a decent, fair man. And he's made mistakes, yeah, but he's made huge mistakes. But he's learned from them and he's adamant that the truth stay hidden. Because he's protecting the real killer? Come on, come on, you have to tell me, who was it? Is it Victor? He always hated Damos as well. And I always wondered where Brady got that amulet that he used to try to frame you. And he did give Victor an alibi. I mean, I know that they have their issues, but he does love his grandfather. It makes perfect sense he'd try to protect it him. It wasn't Victor. Well, then who was it? Come on, you have to tell me. Who really killed Damos? too much time in the bathroom with recurring constipation and belly pain? Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Yes, Linzess treats adults with IBS with constipation or chronic constipation. Linzess can help relieve your belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Linzess is not a laxative. It works differently to help you get ahead of your recurring constipation and belly pain. Do not give Linzess to children less than six, and it should not be given to children six to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. So say yes to help for recurring constipation. Yes to help for belly pain. Talk to your doctor and say yes, Lynn Zess. It's time to unswaddle and set your baby free. With our moving baby system, Huggies Little Movers are made to move and they're our number one trusted diaper.
So that I'm Fallon from Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Amanda Seyfried plus Wiz Khalifa. New Fallon. Hey, two copies, please. Hey, Travis, your dad misses you. Huh? You should take him to the baseball game tomorrow night. See wherever you want. Bleachers, first base line. It's going to be a heck of a game. And when it's over, and you're both going to see each other for the first time. No con tus ojos, pero con tu corazón. Thanks, Albert Pujols. It'll be two ninety five for the keys. I'm Bob Simmons. I'm Keith Fletcher. If you've been injured in an accident, call 1-800-JUSTICE. At Simmons & Fletcher, we're not just lawyers, we're your lawyers. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. This summer, TXU Energy presents Chill Out at the Houston Zoo. Watch the bears eat ice pops and the elephants splash in their pool. Plus, stay for special evening chill events. Whenever you visit the animals at the Houston Zoo, you help save animals in the wild. For details, go to HoustonZoo.org. Ryan Eggle stars in New Amsterdam, Tuesdays this fall on NBC. Okay. Come on, don't you people have anything better to do than sit around waiting to see if I get an eye? <laughs> really? Really no, no. <laughs> no, in fact, I'm not going anywhere until I know if you're going to have your sight back for our wedding. Oh, my gosh, you're a big day. That's right around the corner. That's a fact, and I need to know that my, my tough guy, best man, is going to be able to see just how happy we are when we tie the knot. Oh. Well, no. He's just afraid I'm going to lose the ring. <laughs> yeah, that too. But no, no, listen to me, partner. When my fiance and her matron of honor are standing up there, that is a vision you do not want to miss. Whoa. Hi. Hey, sweetness. Hi. Hi. So, what's the verdict? Everything looks good. They want to go ahead with the surgery. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Isn't that great? Okay. <laughs> Let's hear it, Victor. How do you know that Brady didn't plant those drugs? Because it's not his style. Sounds more like your Mexican code orc going out for revenge. That did occur to me, but no, it doesn't make sense, okay? I wasn't the one who killed Mateo. Chloe was. If his family's gonna go after somebody, it would be her. Come on, what do you mean it's not Brady's style? Didn't he plant that amulet on Eve? For the last time, he had nothing to do with those drugs. Didn't JJ say they were his? He only said that to protect me. He sacrificed himself for my sake because that's what a decent man does. I used to think Brady was a decent man. Not anymore, you know, he... He made it look like I was using again so I would lose Tate, and now you want me to share custody with him? Sorry, that's never gonna happen. Well, good luck. Feeding your son without a job. Planning those drugs does sound like something Victor would do, but I don't think he did it. Oh, you don't think he would go after the woman who tried to take your son, Brady? No, because my grandfather wanted me to get back together with Teresa and dump Eve. He pushed it so hard that we had a falling out. I told him I didn't want to have anything to do with him or Titan. I moved out of the mansion and in here with Eve. Oh, he must have loved that. He was furious. But that's why I don't think he planted those drugs, because he wouldn't want to lift a finger to help me right now. He's been team Teresa all the way. <laughs> Someone went to a lot of trouble to screw Teresa over. And for my son's sake, I'm gonna find out who it is. Jen, keep me posted because I I want answers. Whoever did this cost me my son. Tell me who really killed Amos. Look, if I told you, you'd have to keep that awful secret, okay? And trust me, you're better off not knowing. Oh, this must really be a nightmare for you. Hmm. Forget about me. It's just what makes me sick is this mess that, that Brady's in. You know... He trusted me enough to tell me that he has a killer's confession on tape. Yeah. And I betrayed that trust by trying to get my hands on it even after he told me not to. Wait, so you have a tape? Yes. 
Well, I don't know. I don't. I mean, there was a tape. I tried to look for it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's, it's missing. And that's another thing that makes me sick. Okay, so hypothetically, if you did have that tape and you showed it to the judge and it cleared Brady of any wrongdoing, then what would have happened? Yeah. Well, that would have been bad. Just really bad. So when I couldn't find, you know, the tape, that was my plan A, so it wasn't an option anymore. So I had to move on to plan B and Brady lost custody of his son. Obviously, you had the best intentions, but I can see why you feel responsible. You know the worst part? Brady has no idea that I'm the one that caused him to son. I'm so afraid to tell him. Because if I do, I could lose him. Eczema again, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You okay? Eczema. It's fine. Hey, hi. Aren't you hot? Eczema again? It's fine. I saw something the other day. My eczemaexposed.com. Your eczema could be something called atopic dermatitis, which can be caused by inflammation under your skin. Maybe you should ask your doctor. Go to my eczemaexposed.com to learn more. When heartburn hits, fight back fast with Tum Smoothies. It neutralizes stomach acid at the source. Tum, 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 tum. Smoothies. And introducing new Tum Sugar Free. New Listerine Sensitivity gives you lasting protection from tooth sensitivity. With first-of-its-kind protection, it blocks tooth sensitivity at the source. So instead of your favorite foods making you feel like this, you'll enjoy them like this. Bring out the bowl. One, two, three, four... The finest luxury items at up to 90% off retail. Every item authenticated by our experts. Only at The Real Real. Get 20% off when you enter Real at therealreal.com and in store. Belle's a real climber. In her lifetime, she'll scale miles of furniture. That's why she needs a tailored recipe from IAMS to help her reach new heights. IAMS Who I Am. Incredible. Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman host Making It premieres July 31st on NBC.
Oh, congrats, <laughs> man. I'm really happy for you. Oh, we yeah, all this are. This is so cool. You know, pretty soon you're going to be able to see how badly I can kick your butt in darts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wish. <laughs> yeah. Dude. You know what? This is fantastic news, and we have every reason to be optimistic. But we need to be realistic, too. You know, even if they successfully connect the bionic eye to your optic nerve, there's no guarantees that it's going to work. Well, look, we all understand this is an experimental treatment, but the fact is they wouldn't be doing the surgery unless they felt good about the outcome. Yeah. Hmm. That's true. Listen, um, I appreciate all of you being here and being so supportive of Steve, but I need to prep my patient for no, the OR. Really? You don't want us to stick around? Come on. No, it's a, a long procedure. You know, you're going to keep us updated, though, aren't you? I'm going to scrub in, but I promise you I'll report back as soon as I can. All right, all right, all right. well. Okay. Good luck, Pard. <laughs> Take care, man. Okay, thanks. You're gonna rock this. Come on, baby. See Big you. girl. We're thinking about you. Hey, partner. I'm saying a prayer, man. That the next time we see you, you're gonna be seeing us. From your lips to the big dude upstairs. Got it. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, yeah, you left some makeup at my place. Eyeshadow wasn't exactly my color. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Victor was just here. He fired me from Bella. No, actually, he made me a deal. I can keep my job if I agree to share custody with Brady. Wait, wait seriously? After Brady planted those drugs? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, but Victor wasn't hearing it. What are you gonna do now? I'm not gonna take a stupid deal, that's for sure. But I have to get a job to provide for my son and I. Maybe, uh, maybe you could put in a good word for me at the EMT department? It's not gonna happen. DJ, it's not like I'm gonna be doing CPR or anything, okay? I could work in the office. I got suspended. What? I heard about the drugs, didn't I? Well, keeping what you did from Brady is just gonna make things worse. Trust me, take it from me, the truth always comes out. It's probably better if you tell him yourself. Brady's never gonna forgive me. Forgive you for what? Drinking from sippy cups. Went from wearing diapers to rocking these first pull up. They feel like underwear with great protection, too. So bring it all on. Number one, number two, it's how big kids are made. We're 50 million strong. So put on your pull ups and help us sing this song. We're 50 million strong. <laughs> JCPenney for the mystery sale. Get your mystery coupon in store only for an extra 30%, 40%, or 50% off select regular or already reduced prices. Thursday through Sunday, in store only. Get there before it's gone. JCPenney, style and value for all. Smoking caused my lung cancer. They put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it.
My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Jimmy Dean Simple Scrambles. Made fresh with two eggs, cheese, and sausage, and ready in seconds. Now you can enjoy the taste of a Saturday morning breakfast. Ted? Even on a Wednesday. Jimmy Dean Simple Scrambles. Now available with egg whites. Welcome to Tide Pods Talk with Gronk. I'm Gronk. I'm big and awesome. But this guy is little. Can it really clean? Heck yeah, it can. It's concentrated detergent plus stain fighters plus odor fighters that fight for clean. Boom! Ugh. Even this entire bottle can't beat Tide Pods. And now a word from future Gronk. Oh. Tide Pods. If it's clean, it's got to be tied. One of the smartest sitcoms of its generation. Sorry I'm late, but I got here as soon as I wanted to. Has just been nominated for five more Emmys. I'm your grandson. Can I call you Grandpa? Oh my God, you have to. Will and Grace. Watch episodes now. Everyone in the cardiac surgical department, please raise your hands. You're all fired. Any department who places billing above care will be terminated. We all feel like the system is too big to change. But guess what? We are the system, and we need to change. So, how can I help? They're not going to let you just help people. So let's help as many as we can before they figure us out. Um, Eve was just telling me what happened with Tate. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, I was just telling her everything that I told you last night. Now, all of this is my fault, and none of this custody stuff would even have happened if I had stepped aside and let you go back to Teresa. Stop, stop. Everything would, you know, I, it's stop. not too late, Brady. I can go to her right now. I can stop, tell stop, Teresa stop, it's sit too down, late. Sit down, sit down, listen to me. Listen, I love you. Committed to you. What happened with Tate doesn't change that. But if... But if you go back to Teresa, then you can be with your no, son. No, I don't want to have anything to do with Teresa. But after what she pulled, are you kidding me? I just, I'm just confused, Eve. I don't understand. I, I went, I went to JJ's apartment to talk to her, and I thought I was, I thought I was being generous. I thought I was meeting her halfway on this thing, and and she she still believes I planted those drugs. Well, Brady. You just, you gotta forget about the drugs, okay? You just gotta focus on, focus on getting, getting your son back. You know, you know I'm what? Not, I'm, I'm not the only one that wants answers. What, what, what are you I talking about? came to about? see me, Jennifer. Jennifer came to okay. see me today. She accused me of planning those drugs, and she also told me that, that, that there was no way in hell that those, those drugs could be JJ's, because he's, he hasn't been using. Oh, Brady, come on. Of course, she's going to say something like that. That's her son. Jen she loves him. Jen she Jennifer is, is an addict. She knows the behavior. Or she's in denial. No. JJ was using She She would know about it. She, would, she wouldn't be making excuses for him. She looked, me, she looked me dead in the eye, and she told me that there's no way those drugs could be JJ's. And let me tell you what. I believe her. It has been a tough road for Steve, mm -hmm. Kato too, so I hope for both their sakes this bionic guy works. Oh, yeah. Whatever happens, they will love each other as much tomorrow as they do today. Uh, excuse me, I gotta take this. You know, the same goes for us, Doc. No matter what, we will just... Keep on loving each other. Even though it's not quite official yet? Yeah, it doesn't matter if we're his or not. I really don't think I can love you any more than I do this very moment. Oh. Oof. Oh, my goodness, I feel exactly the same way. I want us to be married. 
That's important to me. That isn't just a piece of paper. I want... I want the world to see us as a team, that we are... We are united for the rest of our lives. No, no, that's not good news at all. When I left the hospital, Kayla was prepping Steve for the surgery, and... Oh, check this out. Steve said he'd give us an exclusive for The Spectator. And I'm thinking a big, splashy takeout, you know, something on cutting-edge medicine. Uh, yes, that, that sounds great. Uh, hello? You haven't heard a word I've said. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just worried about JJ. You know he got suspended from his EMT job. Oh, honey. Well, obviously because of what he said it takes to custody, Harry. I mean, about the drugs in JJ's apartment? Yes, why did he do that, Adrian? I understand wanting to protect your friend and, and support your friend, but, I mean, it makes so much trouble for your own life. Why? Honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just worried about him. I'm, I'm really worried oh, about honey, him. Oh, honey, I know. I'm not going to you just because they heard there were drugs in your house? It's so incredibly unfair. Once they investigate, I'm sure I'll be cleared. And what if they don't? JJ, you work in emergency services. I mean, they can't risk one of their guys showing up high to some big rescue operation. What if they have some policy where they have to fire you? Let's, let's uh, just take it one day at a time. No, you said that those drugs were yours to help me, so... Now I'm gonna help you, okay? I gotta make this right. I'm gonna go talk to you. Hey, hey. I'm gonna you. don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I can't let you take the fall for something that Brady did. Look, even if they fire me off, I'll have no regrets about this. And I do it all over again to protect you. Make sure you didn't lose your son. Brad's been looking forward to this all week. But how will his denture cope with a steak? Luckily for Brad, this isn't a worry because he's discovered Super Polygrip. It holds his denture tight and helps give him 65% more chewing power. Leaving Brad to dig in and enjoy the tastiest of T-bones. Super Polygrip, helping you enjoy the foods you love. Only Tylenol Rapid Release Gels have laser-drilled holes. They release medicine fast for fast pain relief. Tylenol. Every day, Zoo Lily brings you something special. Oh. I love this tunic. Comfort and style together at last. It's the perfect blend of try, don't try. You should get that tunic. Whoa, Rachel, we're in public. Zoo Lily, something special every day.
There's a common thread I see every time I'm in the field. While this was burning, you were saving other homes. Neighbors helping neighbors and strangers alike. This is what America's about. Sometimes it's nice to see all the good that's out there. Bringing folks out, we have seen it in community after community. How did Mari end up in this reverie? It's a one in a million glitch. The dangers in this dream. There was a kid in there pleading for help. Become very real. I got shot. It's an open wound. Reverie, tonight on NBC. This rookie's first run left everyone in awe. The kid delivers! Monday, will he become Ninja's next great superstar? He's got the Ninja It Factor! Emmy-nominated Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC. Trip. Yeah, man. Okay, look, uh, <laughs> I gotta go. They're just about ready for me in the OR. Yeah, Kayla's gonna scrub in, so I'll be in good hands. Yeah, I know. I know you want to come back to the hospital, but the surgery's going to take hours. There's really nothing you could do here. Well, we'll celebrate when I can see you again. How about that? All right. All right, I'll see you, man. Thanks. I'll take it. Thanks. I know there are no guarantees. But it would make me so happy to see my family again. I don't know. Oh, thank you, baby. You're standing by me through all this. I mean, you made it your mission to get me this bionic guy. Whatever happens, I'll always be grateful to you for that. Let's get the show on the road. Let's do it. I am so thrilled for Steve. Uh, I, will, I will keep my fingers crossed. Uh, I know, I know. Kayla said she'd keep us posted, but uh, it's a really long surgery, and I can't stand the waiting. I need to do something to keep my mind from just going crazy. I have something for you. Great. What? I need to clear my son's name. Please help me. You know, Jennifer is maternal instincts. Of course, are to protect her son because she loves him more than anything in the world. Sometimes love causes us to think things and do things that aren't always right. Maybe. I mean, Jen. Jen did tell me that she doesn't believe that I planted the drugs, which was a relief. The question remains, if, if Teresa didn't do it, and they, they're not JJ's and I'm not involved, how the hell did those drugs get there in the first place? You know, Brady, I just think, like I said, we need to focus on what's important here. Yeah. Forget about the drugs. No, okay, no, let's, no, let's no, think no, about getting your son yeah, back. Can't forget, forget about the drugs, see, because if it weren't for the drugs being there, Teresa may not have backed out of this custody agreement, and I would still have my son in my life. Can't forget about it. And I'm gonna find out who's responsible for making me lose my son. Uh, hey. Uncle Roman, hi. Uh, JJ, if you don't mind, I uh, need to speak to Teresa privately, okay? Oh, that's okay. You can say anything in front of JJ. It's fine. All right. Well, I'm afraid I got some bad news about your mother. All new Reverie, tonight at 10, 9 central on NBC. Mama's running off to work. Fancy career lady abandoning her kids. I never know what I'll feel bad about, but it's always just around the corner. My friends and I are gonna do dancing. Oh my god, is he motorboating her? You like your weather? Oh god, are we wearing the same jean jacket? I thought you were your mother. What? Just in how you look and act and where you carry your weight. This is the worst day of my life. 
than 17 million children in the U.S. have a mental health disorder. But more than two-thirds of these children never get help. The Child Mind Institute is changing that. Visit childmind.org to learn more and take a stand for America's kids. Tonight's NBC primetime lineup starts at 7, right here on KPRC Channel 2. Imagine somebody beating you in the head with a hammer. I tried um, going to the chiropractor, getting massages, acupuncture. We did Botox, therapies, numerous medications. Nothing seemed to work. The migraines just kept coming back. And so I just did my own research and came across migraine treatment centers on the internet. We called them and they wanted me to come down and try the Omega procedure. Migraine Treatment Centers of America is the exclusive provider of the Omega procedure, a long-term drug-free solution for chronic migraines with an 87% success rate. After I turn it on, it's complete relief. And I called my mom, I was like, it's working, it's working. It completely changed my life. I could be on the field coaching my daughter instead of sitting home in agony in a dark room. Call us today at 888-261-3548 to see if you're a candidate. That's 888-261-3548 or visit us at omegaprocedure.com. Good afternoon, Bill Biasa with some of the stories we're working on this afternoon. The man charged with the murder of Brittany Burfield appears in court. What we're learning about the charges against Alex Haggerty and a huge donation to the new University of Houston Medical School. We'll show you who made that donation and what the money is going to go towards when we see you first at four. Today on Dr. Phil, a religious mother. She thinks pop music is satanic skirt over the knee is sinful. I want her to do what's right. Which is defined by you because you've got God on your side. Yes. A rebellious daughter. I just see her having the most outrageous behavior. Did she kick you out for voting for Hillary Clinton? Yes, I did. Is that why she's a sugar baby? I do go on dates for money. There's something wrong with you. The way you raised me, you made me like this. You're a waste of a life. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil, but you should be sorry. You've not said one positive thing about this young woman since you walked out here. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. Shirley says that she raised her 19-year-old daughter in a very strict Catholic household, which meant no short skirts, no pop music, no television, no drinking, no drugs, and definitely no sex before marriage. But ever since Shirley kicked her daughter out of the house for voting for Hillary Clinton, she says Marie has been living a double life, wearing short skirts, getting tattoos, drinking, and worst of all, taking money from sugar daddies. Now Shirley says she doesn't know where she went wrong, but Marie knows Shirley's overbearing rules pushed her into being a rebel. Take a look. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. I haven't seen my mom in months because she's just so overbearing and religious. I want to show you some of my religious items here and uh, how important they are to me. My mom thinks pop music is satanic and that any skirt over the knee is sinful. I would not be allowed to wear this. Marie has completely rejected her faith. Cursing is a sin. Having sex before marriage is a sin. Most TV shows, it's a sin to watch those. Missing church is a mortal sin. We went to mass together, and I expected all my children to be there. One time in fifth grade, I slept over at my friend's house and told my mom I was going to church with her when I wasn't. When my mom found out, she grounded me for two months. I might have been too lax and not disciplined enough with her. I used to go to an art high school. I had a lot of friends who were gay. And my 
mom thought they were dragging me into sin and that I was going to become a bad person. It's just the immoral lifestyle I'm against. My mom pulled me out of that school and put me in some weird Mormon charter school. I was so miserable. I started failing classes on purpose and skipping school twice a week. I felt like I was doing the right thing, trying to keep rules. Now that I'm grown up, I rebel because my mom was too strict on me. I'm going to tell you the truth today, and some of it you're going to like, some of it you might not. I think your goal is to get her to conform to what you want her to do. I want her to do what's right. That's all I know. Which is defined by you, because you've got God on your side. Yes. Did you raise all your children the same? Yes, I did. Didn't have one set of rules for one, another set of rules for another? No. It was all. It was one. It was all. For all the children. All yes. the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody the same. treated the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody held the same moral yardstick. Yes. All right. Here are your rules, mm -hmm. according to Marie, and I think you agree with them. We, I talked about them at the beginning. No pop music. Lady Gaga's like... No way. Yeah. Okay. No short skirts. No. Anything above the knees, bad news, according to her. Yeah, I don't like revealing clothes for a girl, no. Okay, no missing church, and no voting for Hillary Clinton, the baby killer. Yes, correct. So you kicked her out over that, she says. Uh, that was the first time I kicked her out, but then I took her back after that voting incident, but she was still home for three months after that. So but, I kicked her out you, for something out. But you kicked else. her out cause at one point because she voted for somebody? Mm-hmm, yes. It was kind of the final straw. I just see her having the most outrageous, reckless, dangerous behavior. No drinking, no cursing, no working on Sundays, no sex before marriage, obviously. No friends that are not Catholic. No. She's wrong on that if she told you that. Okay, no gay friends? Well, I would prefer it, but she has many gay friends. Some of them are okay, some of them are not. I can't control her. I'm just here to, to help her with her crazy, dangerous lifestyle that I've seen her express on Twitter. It's outrageous, it's scary, and it's dangerous, and I'm really afraid for her. Marie has no idea that her family follows her every move on Twitter, but they have discovered pictures of her drinking, they've discovered pictures of her smoking pot, and even pictures of her posing naked. But Marie says she's just acting like any normal teenager who has finally been given a get-out-of-jail card. Take a look. I want my daughter's illegal and immoral behavior to stop. I don't want a relationship with somebody who thinks everything I do is sinful and evil. The only way that I know what Marie has been doing in her life recently is looking at her Twitter feed. When I go out and drink, I like to tweet and post and I don't really care. Marie posts on social media about partying, drinking, and doing drugs. My favorite thing to drink is a malt liquor called Orange Mad Dog. She even brags about having to spend the night in jail. I have been arrested two times. I know Marie is having sex outside of marriage, which is gravely sinful, but worst of all is the sugar daddies. That's prostitution. I'll meet older men through the internet and go on dates with them and get money. It is simple. If I want to meet an older guy, there's actually an app on my phone that I use where younger girls can meet older guys. I use it when I need some money. She has posted it, the few pics about her being in resorts, sugar daddy dates, having steak, filet mignon. She has to call all her sugar daddies because she has no money. It's obvious what she's doing. I don't always give them anything sexual, but sometimes the relationship does go that way. Marie is just totally out of control. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay, are you totally out of control? No, I'm normal. Do you think the majority of teenagers go on sugar daddy websites? Maybe the ones that I know. You think that's typical? It's not too uncommon. You think drinking and getting drunk is, that is common? Oh, that's very common. Is that more common than going on websites and yeah. having sex for money? <laughs> yeah. It's not just sex for money. I do go on just dates for money. Right. Yeah. And sometimes it's sex, sometimes it's not. Yeah. Does it depend on how much money you need or? Yeah. 
you've posted some things about this. I mean, you're no, you don't hide it, right? I no, mean, you're I don't a really um, Like you you posted this up and said, I had to grind for this view. Oh, that's a joke. That was at IKEA. Well, let me in on the joke, though. I mean, what's the it's joke? It's like I had to grind for this view, but the reality is I didn't have to do anything for that view. I'm just at IKEA in the like one of the kitchens. Uh -huh. It's not, I don't know. It's not that um, funny when we like analyze it. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> yeah. And here's your tweet about the show. I got drunk and agreed to be on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> uh, you put this up November 1st. She's always talking uh, about drinking or getting drunk or craving drink. That She drinks a lot. She's uh, an yeah. alcoholic. Mm -hmm. You're did, an alcoholic. Did you, Shut up. I, I looked at the topics of 159 of your tweets nice. that were given to me uh, by you. Uh, nine <laughs> concerned sugar daddies, 12 involved drugs, 19 troubles with the law, 20 involving marijuana, 21 sex, and 78 drinking. <laughs> wow. Out of 159, that was the breakdown. That is a lot. I mean, the drinking has the most. I just think that's funny. Well, I don't know you anymore. You're a stranger. I, that's fine. You're a stranger. Okay. In a short time of nine months, eight months since you left the house. Then I've always been a stranger. You, yeah, you've been a stranger for a while. Why? Because I have to hide everything from you. Why have you been hiding all these years? Because everything makes you angry. Of course I've been hiding from you. The way you raised me, you made me like this. Yeah, your brothers don't feel that way. They're not me. There's something wrong with you. There is. Did she kick you out for voting for Hillary Clinton? Yeah. Yes, I did. Does that seem <laughs> radical to you at all to kick a child out because of how they voted in a presidential election? A little bit. It was impulsive. All right, we're going to meet one of uh, Marie's older brothers who say Marie is crazy, conniving, vulgar, deceiver, who is a disappointment. Well, we'll talk to him next. <laughs> I told this girl's boyfriend that she was cheating on him and about a month later I saw her and she screamed at me F you you ruined my life and threw an iced coffee at me and I just started punching her the girl wound up calling the police and now I'm banned from the university punching her was totally worth it and later, when Marie revealed a secret, it rocked this family to the core. It was like my worst nightmare come true. All of this is my fault. Dan, you shouldn't be taking the blame. That's just the way I am. Tomorrow on Dr. Phil. A destructive daughter. You tore up all my books. You just poured milk on our bed. She poured dish soap on the floor. Mother. She threw water at me. She wouldn't let me sleep. Then she started hitting me. With a sordid past. Why were you in prison? It was for fraud. Mom, I'll do whatever I can not to be like you. You're ashamed. That's tomorrow. Your nails can say a lot about your health. Chipping, depressions, peeling, what it all means and what you can do about it. And I've got some seriously clever and creative ways to organize your jewelry and accessories in our Summer Closet Reboot. Thursday morning on Channel 2 News Today. Only Cons Home Plus has the appliance brands you love, plus Yes Money financing. For low monthly payments you can afford, just go to cons.com to apply and get approved instantly. With all your back to sports essentials for under $30 this back to school season, we've got you covered from head to toe. Academy Sports and Outdoors for all for less. You're happy he's home for the summer, but you're also ready for next semester to start. Thankfully, you're saving on electricity because you signed up for the Reliant First Month Free Plan. We even sweetened the deal with a Google Home Mini at no cost. Uh, hey mom, can I have this? A month of free electricity? You deserve it. That's life. Switched on. Reliant. Like you, my days can be pretty stressful. The constant running around, navigating traffic, scheduling meetings, and dealing with paperwork. We all need de-stress. That's why I go to Hand in Stone Massage and Facial Spas.
They have lots of convenient locations, great hours, and it's super affordable. So I'm relaxed and ready for a little <laughs> overtime. It's easy to make hand and stone part of your routine. There's a common thread I see every time I'm in the field. While this was burning, you were saving other homes. Neighbors helping neighbors and strangers alike. This is what America's about. Sometimes it's nice to see all the good that's out there. Bringing folks out, we have seen it in community after community. When Marie was 18, she voted for Hillary Clinton. And I was very upset with that. My mom said it was a sin to vote for her. Hillary's an evil person, the baby killer. And she was just so angry that she told me, get all your and get out. I did kick her out of the house impulsively. I can't really think of any times that my mom has actually supported my decision. Shirley says when Marie voted for Hillary Clinton, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. But Marie says she is thankful to be out of the house and free from her mother's religious shackles. Now, Marie's older brother, Scott, says Marie's rebellious behavior is an embarrassment to the family, and he thinks his mother is conservative, but that her expectations of his sister are just simply not unreasonable. So you think that she's just trying to be a reasonable moral compass for your sister. Yes, a loving mother. Uh-huh. And you think her behavior is what? How would you describe her behavior? Um, it's uh, destructive and <clears throat> uh, it's a slap in the face to my mother, who's, who's uh, you know, she's a single mother raising us. You think that her behavior is what? You think it's dangerous? Very dangerous. You described it as conniving, malicious, vulgar, that she's a deceiver. Yes, she is. And doesn't love or want to be part of this family. Why, why do you think that is? She just has different uh, opinions and, and beliefs than we do. Mm -hmm. And it just, it started from a young age. She started deceiving my mom and rebelling. And I always used to tell her, Marie, you're going down the wrong path. You're going to get worse if you keep living this lifestyle. And look where she is today. She's on the Dr. Phil show. Because you guys brought me here. And, and she really likes the attention. She loves the attention. You know uh -huh. you love So it. do you. No, we're doing Mom this for you. It. I'm doing it for you. Because we love you. Is a message that she gets from you that you love her or that you judge her? I Be honest. I mean, what? I love her. Uh -huh. that, that's why she reached out to me for money because she knew I would help her because I'll do anything. And for how her. about you? What's what's your message? That that you love her or that you judge her? That I love her. That you know, I want her to be a part of our family. I want to communicate with her. She's been so distant from our family probably since she's about been about 13 or 14. Yes. She she would live at the house and she'd always stay in her room. She wouldn't communicate with us. She doesn't socialize with us. She would only come out to eat food, and then she'd go back in her room. And when I try and communicate with her or talk to her, you'd get a few word answers like, yeah, okay. Then she's back in her room. I've been trying, we've been to therapists probably five or six times. Six. And then when she was 18, she quit. She says, I don't want to do this anymore. It doesn't help me any it doesn't help me anyway. So and she look, if she doesn't want to be Catholic, that's her decision. And I'm going to respect her as a that's her human decision to make. But what really worries me is the destructive life she's living. In a few years she could be dead or she can catch some illness, a disease from a man who she's sleeping with. All right, let's let's talk about this. We're gonna take a break here and coming up, Marie's oldest brother says Marie's promiscuous behavior is actually his fault. And he's gonna tell us why, and we're gonna take a look at something that I've brought up already, and that is, is there a double standard here? If her behavior is high risk, if her behavior is destructive, if her behavior communicates that she does not value and respect herself, is there a reason for that? If she doesn't want to be part of this family, if she in fact is distancing herself from this family unit, is there a reason for that? I think the answers are yes, yes, and yes. And we're gonna find out why when we come back. <laughs> I'm 
really afraid that what I did to Marie may have caused her to end up where she is today. Jan asked me to keep it a secret, and I kept it a secret for about 10 years. And later... You lie to me. Why is it funny? Why is, why is being a prostitute funny? You're a waste of a life right now. I'm a waste of a life. Sorry, Dr. Phil, but... You should be sorry. Friday on Dr. Phil. Three years, and all three are sober. My life has changed so much for the better. You gave me a life beyond my wildest dreams. I kept asking the staff to get me wine. They wouldn't do it. Dr. Phil saved my life. When she's sober, I could look into her eyes, and I could see that my girl was there. I'm indebted to you and your staff for the rest of my life. You didn't give up. That's Friday. Then on Monday... My dad would broke me. She was brainwashed by her mom. His ex claims she was a witness. You saw him touching your daughter. I was silent. I'm not going to be silent anymore. Who's telling the truth? He was the one brainwashing. He told our children that I abandoned them. Have you molested your children? Never. What will the polygraph reveal? And the results were... That's Monday. Then on Tuesday... Riches. I was gorgeous. Now I'm broke and fat. To rehab. You get so drunk you're asleep on the lawn. I want to be a good mom. You don't deserve them. That's Tuesday. Ashley Home Store's Black Friday is happening in July. Doorbusters starting at just $95. Hurry in today because these hot deals are only available for a limited time. Shop and save at all 14 Houston Ashley Home Stores. Former Judge Alex Ferrer is a paid spokesperson for Smith & Hassler. You're injured and you're feeling left in the dark. The bills are piling up. Maybe there's pressure from the insurance company. Your dark future could be much brighter. I'm TV's Judge Alex Ferrer, and I can tell you a powerful law firm can make a big difference. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call Smith and Hassler. 1-800-WIN-WIN-1. There's never a fee unless you win. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. When it comes to floor cleaning, my experience shows you can pretty much judge the quality of a company by the person they send to your home. Stanley Steamer cares about your family and gets the job done right the first time. I've been with Stanley Steamer for over 30 years. This is what I do. I treat every home like it's my own. It still blows me away with what we can do. Carpets, tile, and hardwoods. Plus, you get my Make It Right guarantee. It's simple. It's Stanley Steamer. Quick weight loss program. Cost less. Offers more with a face-to-face -face personal touch guarantee. For faster weight loss your way. It's all about your tastes, needs, lifestyle. Want to lose up to 100 pounds or more? Eat what you love and energize with the all-new Eat More, Lose More Quick Weight Loss Program. Results guaranteed. No counting, no groups, no exercise, no prepackaged meals, no shots, no faceless consultants. Cost less. Offers more. Lose up to 99 pounds, just $99. Results guaranteed. Call Quick Weight Loss. 877-GET-THIN. That's 877-438-8446. Ashley Home Store's Black Friday sale is happening in July. Come in today and save up to 50% or 60 months no interest with equal payments and no money down. Ashley's Black Friday in July event is going on now at all 14 Houston Ashley Home Stores. Your Honor, the defendant rudely killed her husband, Echo. We love Lavinia. She's the only royalty we have left. No motive, no smoking gun. Guys, come on! All right. You don't say that. I'm sorry. You may be seated. Everybody say, innocent. Innocent. Trial and Error, Lady Killer, premieres Thursday on NBC. I have three older brothers, and I hardly talk to any of them. My mom was always treating my brothers better. They got to wear what they want. They got to listen to what they want. They got to go to whatever friend's house they wanted to. None of my brothers really had to endure what I went through, so they don't really understand me. Marie felt her brothers didn't have to follow as many rules growing up. Their mother Shirley raised them as strict Catholics, which meant church every Sunday. No pop music, no TV, no R-rated anything, and certainly no sex before marriage. So when Marie revealed a secret that she had been keeping for 10 years, it rocked this family to the core. When I was four, 
number five, my oldest brother, Jan, molested me. I was in fifth grade. I had heard about pornography from kids at school, and when I was 12, I would use our computer to view pornography, and because I had viewed that, I ended up abusing my sister, Marie. It happened whenever we were left alone together, when he would, like, babysit me or something. After I abused her, I was very scared and I begged her not to tell anyone. I gave her money to not say anything to my family. Dan asked me to keep it a secret, and I kept it a secret for about 10 years. I came home from work, and my mom told me she knew what I had done exactly. I just started crying, a, a bitter, heaving sorrow of guilt over what I had done. The truth was very cathartic, but I was not completely relieved after that because we could already see my sister beginning to be rebellious beginning to sneak out and was drinking underage. I'm really afraid that what I did to Marie may have caused her to end up where she is today. I don't think what happened back then affects how I act now. I just try not to think about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. And um, this is something that occurred when you were a child, but still older than her. You talked about this uh, in, inside the family, uh, and it's not easy for you to be here and talk about this today, right? Right. I'm not qualified to be judgmental for Marie at all, and I've communicated that to her many times, but I'm really sad that she has never reached out to me, and I feel very helpless as an older brother. I feel like all of this is my fault. When you told your mother about this, why did you, why did it come up when it did? I just remember me and my mom were in an argument, and I, oh. yeah, we were. I picked you up on your yes. very last day of school. We were driving home from your freshman year, yeah, and I true. asked, because you were real bitchy, like you usually were moody. Well, that, I, it was an I argument said, to me because I, I was angry. That's how I remember okay. it. Whatever, I don't know. So i had been asking her for years. Marie, has anyone ever molested you? Has anyone ever done that? Because I saw the same signs in her, what happened to me. And she kept saying no and no through the years. And finally, on that very day in the car, she blurted out, yes, Jan did this, blah, blah, blah. And I just freaked out. I was hysterical in the car. It looked like my worst nightmare come true. What happened to her happened to me. And what did you do? Um, I thought, well, I have to get Marie to counseling, therapy. We have to work on this, get her help to overcome this trauma. Marie isn't the only one in the family to have dealt with sexual abuse. Let's just put this on the table. Because I had been molested in the past, it allows me to understand Marie more. When I was about six years old, my dad started to molest me. And that continued until I was 16 years old. Because of the sexual abuse, I wanted to distance myself from my family. It caused me to seek out men's attentions through sex. And I can see that's what Marie is doing now. But I was able to change through my faith. Pray for us sinners now. I want Marie to be able to do the same thing. If Marie turns to her faith again, she will stay away from these evils like prostitution. Did you know that this had happened to your mother? Yeah, she told me about it a lot. Mm -hmm. And when you shared this with your mother, how did you feel about that? Were you um, glad you did or sad you did? You wish you hadn't? I, glad you did? I mean, I'm, I'm really glad I did, but I just, I felt really bad just for making her so distraught. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't regret telling her and I'm glad I spoke up about it. And how do you feel towards your brother, Jan? Um, Jan, I, at this point, I'm old enough, I don't, like, I don't have anger for it anymore. Like, it was so long ago. I know he's very, very sorry. So, and I forgive him. Jan, you shouldn't be taking the blame for the reason that I'm rebellious because I think that's totally wrong. I just, so I was you bound. You are rebellious. Yes, I know. And I'm saying you shouldn't take the blame for that, Jan. I, that didn't affect me as strongly as you guys think it did. That's what I believe because I, I think I would have been this way either way. 
And why do you think you would be this way anyway? I don't know. I think that's just the way I am. Ever since I was young, I've even just felt rebellious, I guess. Do you think there's a double standard in this family? I think so. Why? Because they're boys and I don't know. They've always just been good. They've always been on the good side. I mean, maybe not you, Jan. But yeah, nice. And, yeah, but, I just, and, but like now you are, you know. Well, Scott says he wasn't mad at Jan for molesting Marie because it only happened a few times. No, um, we'll talk about what he means by that and let him explain when we come back. Closed captioning provided by. We all know that feet come in all shapes and sizes. That's why Skechers has created the ultimate custom fit with Stretch Knit. This one-piece knitted upper stretches and moves with the shape of your foot. Easy to slip on. And with air-cooled memory foam, it's the perfect shoe. Stretch Knit, only from Skechers. From the moment you met, you wanted to surround them in comfort and protection. That's why Pamper Swaddlers is the number one choice of hospitals. To wrap your baby in blanket-like softness so all they feel is love. Pamper Swaddlers. When things get ugly, call the We Buy Ugly Houses people. We can give you a cash offer, not some phony online offer without even seeing your house. Go to WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Tax-free savings, free gifts, you get it all during Mattress One's incredible tax-free mattress sale. Buy a Sealy mattress, just $2.99, tax-free. Buy a Sealy Queen 8-inch memory foam mattress, only $3.99, tax-free. We have it in stock, so you can take it home today. Plus, enjoy free gifts and 0% APR for five years with equal payments. You get the mattress, you get the savings. We take care of the sales tax. Visit MattressOne.com to find a store near you. Cool off at Wet n Wild Splashdown, Houston's largest water park. Bigger with the new Alien Chaser water ride. Better with Houston's biggest and most thrilling water rides. And wetter with millions of gallons of water adventures. Get unlimited visits for the rest of the summer for the price of a general admission ticket with a thrill pass. Or save up to $12 on general admission with a coupon from McDonald's. Wet n Wild Splashdown. Bigger, better, wetter. Pass the pudding, please. When things get ugly, call the We Buy Ugly Houses people. We can give you an all-cash offer and can close quickly. Go to WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi. Here's a look at some of the stories we're working on this afternoon. The man accused in a crime spree that included three homicides spoke in court for the very first time since he was arrested. We'll tell you what Jose Rodriguez had to say. Plus, a man is dead after an officer-involved shooting in Waller County. We'll tell you more about what happened that led up to the shooting when we see you first at 4 o'clock. what happened to Marie, I felt sadness for her and for my brother Jan, and as a Christian, I forgave him. At the time, I told Marie I was sorry that happened to her, but it's not an excuse for the lifestyle she's living right now. Well, that was Scott, who thinks his sister Marie is acting out, really to shock the family. So, what's your plan? What's your plan? Where do you think you'll be five years from now? I want to go to college. And then, I don't know, I want to start working in either like public speaking or working with people. You're going to college, but you've already been kicked off of two campuses. You even displayed on your Twitter right there. That I you don't got, care. Oh, you don't care. That's always what you always say for the last several years. I don't care. That's how, that's I, how don't I feel care. like you feel about us. You don't care about <laughs> us. So, it's just, okay. And why is it funny? Why is, why is being a yeah. prostitute funny? Why are you always laughing? That's is it funny? Serious, I, it's I, not funny. You're, you're a I prostitute. You're, you have so much potential, but you're a waste of a life right now. I'm a waste of a life? Yes, the, the way you're living currently, yes. Thank you. It's very you. sad. It breaks my heart. It, it really, I, I feel like that is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I, you can't, I'm sorry, but you say, oh, well, you shouldn't blame yourself for this, Jan. Well, I'm your older brother. I do. And as long as you aren't going to call me 
or talk to the family and be distant from us, I am gonna blame myself for this. So don't think you're the only one with angst, all right? Because you really get that way. Why is it funny? Why are you laughing? I, I don't know. That's just how I act. Because she, she wants to be famous. This is her time. That's why. I just want... Stop. You we cannot be that shallow to make that idiotic comment. She loves the attention. You cannot be that shallow. She loves the attention, Dr. Phil. You cannot be that self-righteous and sanctimonious to sit down there and make that idiotic statement. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil, but... Well, you should be sorry. I'm sorry, but she likes the attention right then now. Then why did you she guys did, bring me on here? She just said on Twitter that this is her moment to become to the, next, the next famous girl to help you for, from your dangerous lifestyle prostitution. You know, you guys That's talk out of both sides of your mouth. You sit there and you say you realize that the trauma has been visited upon her at this point, and then in the in the same breath, you criticize her for behaving in an immature fashion when you well know that her emotional and social development is arrested at the point that she becomes a victim of this molestation. If you care about her enough, then you've done your homework to know what's really going on here, and you don't sit there and make idiotic, critical, damning comments about somebody behaving the way she's behaving. I, I do know. You don't know, I you do. wouldn't have every comment in your you mouth know. be negative. You've I not said know. one positive thing about this young woman since you walked out here. You haven't said one positive thing about her since she's we started talking to you. She's not positive towards us. She's not positive towards us. I want to love her. I want to I want a relationship with my daughter. Then you want to love her. I do love her. Then don't say you want to love her. Well, you can I said love her wrong. and hate her behavior. I do love her. And you are the most powerful role model in your child's life. I and am. she needs you. I need her too. She needs you. And yes. she doesn't need you to judge everything she does. And trust me. Does she really need me? She's doing this for you. Good. I, I love she's that. She's doing this Does for you. She's doing it. Good. To that be seen and heard and get some attention. I, and if you continue to judge everything she does, she's going to continue to be more and more outrageous and more and more rebellious. I'm trying not to judge her. I'm just afraid for her. Then you need afraid. to be building roads, not blowing up bridges. I am trying to build roads. She won't talk to me. She won't. We do try to build roads. We do. I try to She's talk to her. She's very close off to us, Phil. She won't very, respond very, very you, know, you do it by criticizing her. And, no. All right, look, we're going to take a break. We're, then we're I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what I think's going on, and I'm going to tell you what I think you can do to get this back under control. Marie says that her mother does have a double standard, including how she treats not only her brothers, but the man she's married to. It's like she has a functional blindness when she wants to and 2020 vision when she chooses. We'll be right back. So Have you this. heard about this opioid crisis? Yeah, that's just a bunch of hysteria. 91 people a day are dying from opioid overdose. Yeah, from illegal street, it's illegal No, 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 no. Tomorrow on Dr. Phil, a destructive daughter. You tore up all my books? You just poured milk on our bed? She poured dish soap on the floor. A mother. She threw water at me. She wouldn't let me sleep. Then she started hitting me. With a sordid past. Why were you in prison? It was for fraud. Mom, I'll do whatever I can not to be like you. You're ashamed. That's tomorrow. Close captioning provided by. It's hard to get all the daily fiber we need from food alone. That's why I love Fiber Choice. With the fiber found in many fruits and vegetables. Fiber Choice, the number one GE recommended chewable prebiotic fiber. Your mornings were made for better things than psoriatic arthritis. As you and your rheumatologist consider treatments, ask if Zelgen's XR is right for you. Zelgen's XR is a once daily pill for psoriatic arthritis. Taken with methotrexate or similar medicines, it can reduce joint pain, swelling, 
and significantly improve physical function. Zelljans XR can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, and other cancers have happened. Don't start Zelljans XR if you have an infection. Tears in the stomach or intestines, low blood cell counts, and higher liver tests and cholesterol levels have happened. Your doctor should perform blood tests before you start and while taking Zelljans XR and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you are in a region where fungal infections are common and if you have had TB, hepatitis B or C or are prone to infections. Zelljans XR can reduce the symptoms of psoriatic arthritis. Don't let another morning go by without talking to your rheumatologist about Zelljans XR. Rob Lowe, having his wildest summer ever? The answer is yes. His insta-worthy African adventure. Shooting a movie with his son. I love that you work with your boys. Next Extra. Today at 4.30 on Channel 2. We decided to go with Bath Fitter after doing a lot of research. Yeah, we loved how they could install a new tub right over the old one without tearing our bathroom apart. Yeah, what we didn't expect was to be blown away by the quality. And that's what happened. They showed up in the morning, and by the end of the day, we had this absolutely beautiful new bathtub. It was better than we could have even imagined. And it's guaranteed for life. I actually love our bathroom now. <laughs> Book your free in-home consultation today. Call or visit bathfitter.com. Recent violence in schools has some parents considering homeschooling. It's like, oh, we can do that. More and more parents are thinking about taking their kids out of the traditional classroom. Five things you need to know to homeschool your kids. Tonight at 10. My mom has told me that Marie has a sugar daddy, but I don't want to believe that. If I found out Marie was selling herself for money, I couldn't truly be happy until I die because I would be responsible for teaching her that behavior. Jan says he apologized to Marie for what he did, but he says he can't stop feeling guilty and responsible for her behavior. And I, I, I understand that. And I, I, I give you a lot of credit for being here and a lot of credit for owning this and a lot of credit for looking her in the eye. Not once, not twice, but every day of your life and her life until you get this right. And I, I applaud you for that, and I, I hope you continue to do that. I got an email from you on October 9th of 2015. And in this email, you said, I am ready to cut all ties with my family because of their refusal to face the incest issue that occurred when we were children. I have suffered from anxiety, depression, flashbacks, and I have a lot of anger towards my mother who refuses to deal with this issue. I felt tremendous repressions surfacing. Mm -hmm. You didn't even mention this at the time because there were other fires burning very hot for you at the time. Yes. And you need to listen to what I'm saying to her because this can continue to be a serious problem. And the reason she feels like she is in the crosshairs and the reason I'm saying you need to find something positive to say about this girl and not just picking at the things she's doing that are, that are wrong, and I'm going to agree with you about the wrong stuff here in just a minute in a really big way, is you, she says you're married now, right? Yes, I'm remarried. And you're very concerned about your husband, correct? Oh, he has chronic pain issues, too, like me. We live with it day to day. Uh-huh. And he medicates those issues? Yes, he goes to a doctor, yes. Uh-huh. And how does he medicate those issues? Uh, pain pills. Opioids. Opioids. Yeah. And how long has he been medicating those with opioids? Uh, he's been to a doctor probably two years. <laughs> what? No. He has chronic pain. Two years. Okay, and he's on opioids for two years, and you're justifying that. Oh, uh, yeah, he has chronic pain. Have you heard about this this thing that's in the paper a lot called the opioid crisis? Yeah, that's just a bunch of hysteria. <laughs> it is. It is. I am part of a chronic pain group, and um, it is. It's a hysteria. I understand people abuse it. But when people live with chronic pain, and that's all we can do, I can't tell you how difficult it is to live with we, chronic we pain. We took her to I the live... ER two nights ago here in L.A. Yes, she I went so to the ER. Pain. I opened one of the first inpatient 
pain clinics in the United States many, many years ago. And to say that the opioid crisis is a bunch of hysteria, yeah, that's a double standard. 91 people a day are dying from opioid overdose. Yeah, from illegal street drugs, illegal no, no, opioids. No, 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 no. Illegal. No, no. It's the fact, a Chinese fentanyl the Mexican heroin. Your body doesn't know whether, know whether you got it with a piece of paper in your hand or whether you don't. I'm not talking I to never, you. I never take street drugs. I'm not talking to you, and I'm not going to spend her time debating with you about whether mm -hmm. there's a genuine opioid crisis in America, because I'm going to tell you there is. I don't know. And, I'm sorry. Well, I've spent 45 years in this profession, and I'm going to tell you that opioids are a crisis in this country, and they are very expensive, so people stop doing them and then start doing heroin mm -hmm. because it's cheaper. Bill's help? Text Bill to 88500 and share your story for a chance to appear on the show. Standard message and data rates may apply. Come on, let's get this show on the road. We should do something. <laughs> We're doing this. Go to PG 13. Visuers can do more than just make you see great. The right pair of glasses can make you look amazing, too. And our buy one, get one free sale is a great time to get a backup pair for when you leave them at school, by the pool, or over at Steve's. VisionWorks, we're here to help you. So frustrated. I just want to find a used car without getting ripped off. You could start your search at the all new Carfax.com. That might help. Show me the Carfax. Now the car you want and the history you need are easy to find. Show me used trucks with one owner. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Show me the Carfax. Start your used car search and get free Carfax reports at the all-new Carfax.com. You're trying to lower your very high triglycerides with a healthy diet and exercise. And maybe even unproven fish oil supplements. Not all omega-3s are clinically proven or the same. Discover Prescription Omega-3 Vasipa, the one that's this pure and FDA approved. Look, Vasipa looks different because it is different. It's pure EPA. Vasipa, along with diet, is clinically proven to lower very high triglycerides by 33% in adults without raising bad cholesterol. That's pure power proven to work. Vasipa is not right for everyone. Do not take Vasipa if you are allergic to icosapen ethyl or any inactive ingredient in Vasipa. Tell your doctor if you are allergic to fish, have liver problems, or other medical conditions, and about any medications you take, especially those that may affect blood clotting. 2.3% of patients reported joint pain. It's clear. There's only one Vasipa. Ask your doctor about Pure EPA Prescription Vasipa. Hear that? That's 50,000 Texans. That's how many of us pick Texas Oncology every year. Every one of us has a story. A story just like mine. About being so much more than just a patient. So start your story with Texas Oncology and see why they're my team. It's a super-powered summer at the Children's Museum of Houston. Get supercharged in our all-new Power Zones. Take the world by storm. Defy the impossible and secret spy missions. Grow by leaps and bounds. Multiply your possibilities. Go on a quest to protect the universe and discover the power within you. Super-powered summer. Save $2 when you buy tickets online. Happening now at Children's Museum of Houston. If you have something you'd like Channel 2 Investigates to check out, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at click2houston.com. These three people sitting right here are, in my opinion, terribly misguided and unquestionably well-intended. There is... 
there is something that, if I can have a whiteboard here, there's something I want you to remember because I'm going to write it down. It is what I call the but for test. If I'm trying to figure out why something happened, I go back and I am looking for the first link in the chain because everything is linked together. And I'm always going back and looking for that first link. And I'm not sure what the first link is in your chain, but I know right now that you are showing a lot of high risk behaviors. You're conducting your life in a way that you're at high risk for 